The moon is the closest to our planet and seemingly the most studied celestial body. We all know from school age that it is a natural satellite of the Earth in the form of a ball, which makes a complete revolution around it in about 27 and a half days. Who now thinks you're going to tell us about the moon for 10 minutes? I want to ask you just three questions. Can you answer them? Then feel free to switch to something else. Question 1. How do you explain the amazing coincidence of the rotation speeds of the Earth and the moon around their axes? So that the moon is always turned to the Earth with only one side. Question 2. Why doesn't the rule of light and shadow propagation on the surface and circular objects work in the case of a natural Earth satellite? And finally, 3. Why does lunar gravity attract millions of tons of water during high tides, but cannot attract dust in the air during the same low tide? What is difficult to answer in reality? The themes of the moon are simply rife with oddities and inconsistencies. And right now we're ready to share with you a ranking of the 10 most unexplained mysteries of the moon at number 10. Why can't the space corporations provide real images of the moon from Earth's orbit? The U.S. National Space Administration and Roscosmos spend billions of dollars on their research programs, but the results of these programs are more than questionable. Judge for yourself, the NASA website published a video of the movement of the moon around the Earth by a spacecraft in July 2015. On it you can see the very backside of the moon, but there are at least two but one. In this video, the moon walking around the Earth has not rotated a degree around its axis, as if a computer had simply inserted a circle and given it motion. But that's not all. If you zoom in on the area where the moon is flying over the Earth and add a little contrast, you can see that the moon is translucent. But why make up poor quality computer graphics with blatant bloopers? 9. Place why the moon shines with its own cold light It has been proven by experience that the moon emits its own unique light. The interesting thing is that it does not warm, but rather absorbs heat measuring the temperature under the moonlight and the shadows surprised investigators in the light of the moon. The street temperature was always found to be lower than in the shadows. If the bright gray moon receives light from the red-hot sun, why does it give off cold light? There is also no reasonable explanation by official science. Eight place why the moon and sun in the sky are sort of matched in size astronomy teaches us that the formation of the solar system began about four and six billion years ago, that the solar system formed from the gravitational collapse of a small part of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. In other words, the Earth and moon emerged from a realm of chaos and confusion. Have you ever wondered what the actual percentage of probability of the moon and sun in the sky is? Completely randomly matched to each other to such a degree jewel like this percentage is so negligible that it is practically wiped away in the dust into the very thing from which the planets and the sun are supposedly created. 7. Place Why the moon is often lit from the side opposite to the location of the sun, observing the lunar cycles, I have always wondered why the moon is often lit as if the sun shines from the other side, sometimes it happens that the moon is lit from above while the sun is lowered. On the horizon where the satellite is illuminated from the right, while the luminary is to the left of it and vice versa, where does the moon take its light from? And why is it, according to the researchers, not friendly with geometry? If you have valid arguments explaining this inconsistency, we look forward to your comments. Sixth place. Is it a coincidence that the average menstrual cycle is almost equal to the lunar cycle in the worldview of our ancestors? Women were usually associated with the moon and men with the sun. The combination of these two beginnings of yin and yang, lunar and solar, heavenly and earthly, ensured the harmony of natural processes and gave birth to a new life. Maybe this is not just a belief and there is a real connection between the woman and the moon, hidden from modern science. Why does the menstrual cycle, i.e. the time of oocyte maturation of approximately 28 days, almost completely coincide with the period of the lunar disk maturation in the sky? There are countless cases in history and to this day, 
when folk traditions have proven to be wiser and more far-sighted than modern scientific approaches. Fifth place. Why are the space agencies filming another Star Wars on the moon? Instead of showing real videos of its surface, here's some unique footage taken during a classified mission called Apollo 20, conducted jointly by the Soviet Union and the United States, and in August 1976 the space module landed near the crater del Porto on the dark side of our satellite and began surveying the area. One member of that expedition said that he and his fellow Millian Snyder and Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov were able to survey an alien spacecraft shaped like a five-kilometer cigar. The ship is estimated to be one and a half billion years old. How can you not believe it? These are real footage of us, don't you? Well, well, let's be honest, this whole story smells like a divorce already at the stage of astronauts' flight to the moon because the Earth is surrounded by the Van Allen radiation belt and the thermosphere. The upper layers, which, according to science itself, are heated to almost 2,000 degrees Celsius, so only overcoming these two invisible but hellish obstacles is impossible for those toy dishes on which the astronauts flew to the moon. And as for the scene with the humanoid entity molded out of wax in writing, or rather scribbles, well for another episode of Star Wars may do and will do, and yet why filming and replicating all these fakes about the moon? Fourth place. Why does the moon attract the seas and oceans at high and low tides but does not attract a drop of water? Gravity is a strange, still mysterious force that researchers and scientists have accumulated too many questions about. The official science explains the tides, so oceanic water, which wraps around the globe under the force of the attraction of the moon of the sun. Please note, the sun forms two giant waves, one as if attracted to the moon, and the other raging on the backside of the planet. Well, what is she attracted to? Why doesn't one wave form that sort of follows the moon flying around the Earth? Such an interesting situation is not the only oddity in this whole appealing story of the classical theory of gravitation, supposedly discovered by Newton in 1666. What's the number? It says that the larger the object, the greater the gravitational force has and vice versa. But if the moon can affect the flow of oceans and seas, why can't it affect the flow of a drop? Third place. Why does the moon never turn the other side of the Earth and again coincidence recall how the solar system the moon and Earth were created? Billions of years have sort of passed since then. For centuries, people have testified that this celestial nocturnal moon has always been turned only one way, given the chaotic nature of cosmic processes and the lack of similar coincidence in other natural satellites, it is almost impossible to believe the coincidence of a unique fit. The velocity of the moon's rotation to that of the Earth's rotation. Some researchers make the bold hypothesis that the moon, sorry, has no backside at all sounds delusional. However, there are no real photos or videos to disprove this theory. Second place. Why does the light and shadow on the surface of the moon indicate that it is not rounded? What kind of nonsense is the moon a frigging yes, how is that possible? Have you ever wondered why the moon does not have a glare and penumbra like all normal spheres, take a peeled apple and turn it to the light, even it will have a penumbra? Its presence indicates that the object has a three-dimensional, rounded shape. If you direct the shadow of a round object of a ball or a flat circle to the sphere, it will appear that the shadow is deformed lying on the rounded god of the sphere on the surface of the moon the shadow from the ground is never deformed. This indicates that the moon is flat. Indeed, if we take a flat circle like a pancake and begin to cast the shadow from the sphere on it, it will fall on the plane without any distortion. First place. How do we explain the phenomenon called lunar waves? The advent of strong zoom cameras and powerful telescopes has literally brought simple observers closer to the colon. The astronomer's exploration of the lunar surface became available to the amateur astronomer without the intermediary of astronauts. And so ordinary guys like you and me adjusted their lenses to the luminous disk. 
And what did they see there? And what they saw was what you see, think, what they thought they saw. And here's another glitchy camera, here again an amateur astronomer did not believe his eyes and smoothed the video with several filters and still it is clearly visible that this is not a glitch filmed as it was in reality. Yes this fake you say the guy decided to hype, but here's a video from 2012 and again the wave. And this is 2014. Here is another observer in 2017 found the same horizontal wave running across the moon, but the quality of the video is worse and still the wave is noticeable. No doubt the guy's observation deserves a kudos. It's interesting that the wave goes from the lowest edge to the very top, or vice versa, across the entire surface of the visible disk. As soon as one wave reaches the top and disappears at the opposite edge, a new one is formed, which goes with the same speed as the previous ones. It seems that each such update of the picture visually advances the moon further in the sky. In the meantime, let's take stock. It turns out that we know too little about the moon that they now know the moon is not a round object, most likely without a backside it emits its own heat-absorbing light along this object a wave that is visible under high magnification still. We know that the space agencies are hiding the truth from the general public about what is the moon. And we need to understand that the theory of the spherical moon is nothing more than a theory. There are several of them. One version brushes off many of the mysteries voiced here. This theory of the holographic nature of the moon I agree sounds incredible, but it too has a right to exist. Think about it, and I'll leave it at that, share this video with your friends so you don't have to retell it in your own words later. Do not forget to give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to our channel will be a lot more interesting. See you soon.